Hi guys, this is another episode of Clark Chronicles. Just want to share a little nugget with you that I got from just spending time with the Lord. So as I was talking to God, I was just talking to God about the mind and my mind and how powerful the mind is. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you an example so you can kind of get where I'm going with this. But I'm going to start by saying this, whatever you feed your mind is what's going to be magnified in your life. So growing up, I grew up watching Unsolved Mysteries. I grew up watching Cops. I grew up watching, you know, shows like that. My family, we have that in common. Watching Lifetime, true crime shows, you know, how you know, all these all these weird shows, but the one of our favorite shows that we used to like binge watching before binge watching was a thing was First 48. So I'd watch so much First 48. And when when I got saved, I remember the Lord was like you should stop watching those kind of shows those shows just got me really anxious my paranoia grew i was a paranoid person i was so paranoid i saw the worst in everybody if i was walking in a grocery store i'd be like why this person following me they follow me too close or if i'm driving i'm like is this person telling me like every situation would be like a really bad situation and that's not a way to live that is not a way to live and it just made you um made me an an untrust uh a person that just didn't trust people much um i mean i could something could happen i just won't roll down my window like you ain't gonna come and get me like stuff i watched verse 48 so anyways i realized then that whatever i was feeding my mind is what would be magnified in my life soon as i cut out those tv shows like that i became a less paranoid person i was a lot i allowed the lord to explain to me how fear is not a spirit that comes from him but he gives us power love and a sound mind i allowed the word of the lord to fill my heart and not um shows with a spirit of fear with a spirit of paranoia with a spirit of violence to fill my life if if that's what's filling your life that's what your focus is going to be and that's what's going to be magnified in your life here's another example i remember you know i used to always watch shows like love and hip-hop i'd watch um i'd follow different social media outlets that kept up on the the hot gossip you know that was going on with different celebrities and just being in people's business and i noticed that it started feeding a nosy spirit in me it made me it, it came with a spirit of gossip behind it and a spirit is a spirit and what i'm saying is like if you focus so much on that that's what's going to start to grow in your life you're going to start to notice more opportunities to gossip gossiping is going to be more normalized now because it's something that you're you're desensitized to because you're filling yourself up with it you're filling your mind you're feeding your mind with gossip tv shows with gossip pages on social media you know and stuff like that so if you don't want the fruit of gossip cut out the the opportunities or the doors that gossip could come through if you don't want to be paranoid if you don't want to be angry or uh violent or um anxious cut out things that'll make that that will you know plant those seeds in you shut those doors the same way with sexual perversion and 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 sexual immorality if you're you know feeding your brain porn and you may say you know what this guy don't watch porn yeah but you're probably you know watching movies that you know are completely are x-rated listening to songs that are x-rated that you know put your mind in those places put your mind in that scenario again if that's what you're feeding your mind that's what you're going to see you're going to start to see lust grow you know in in your life you're going to start to see you know perversion grow in your life and it, it's important to be pure in your mind now i'm not going around and saying that you gotta hide yourself in a box and don't watch this and don't watch that don't listen to this don't listen to that what I'm saying is be very conscious of the things that you're feeding yourself. If you say, man, I'm always thinking about sex. I'm always thinking about sex. Well, what are you watching that are planting those seeds? What are you listening to that are planting those seeds? Now you're focused on that. Now that is magnified in your mind. You know, you got to avoid it. If you're a recovering crackhead, you're not going to go to a crack house and be like, you know, I'm just going to be hanging around here. You ain't going to hang around no trap. No, because you're a recovering addict. If you are a recovering alcoholic, you're not going to go to a bar. You should avoid places like that, places that will trigger you. It's a conscious daily walk. Um, I I like to to just ask God, what is this breeding in my life? What What is this or that? What are those seeds planting in my life? Because I see a harvest of that. 
On the flip side, if you focus on good thoughts, if you focus on good things, if you focus on love, that's what will start to magnify in your life. If you watch things surrounding those things, if you feed your th yourself pleasant shows, you know, pleasant music, you know, inspirational music and stuff like that, you'll be inspired. You'll be a loving person. If you watch, you know, shows that give you joy, you become, a, you know, a joyful person. Whatever is planted, that's what's going to be harvested. I'm going to leave you with this. The more we focus on God, the more we focus on God's word, the more we communicate with God, that's the bigger he is in our lives. And that's the more he's evident and we can see him in our life. And that's where our focus would be. If you find yourself struggling or you, you know, you say, man, I'm not really focused on God. I don't really have that desire anymore. It's because you're getting further, further away. Your focus is kind of drifting off of him. And so he's not magnified. In, in your life as like he used to be. Or if you've never had a relationship with God and you desire one, but you don't know where to start, that's a great way to start. Just go to church, surround yourself with, you know, Bible-based believing Christians. Um, listen to praise and worship music, inspirational music, you know, be mindful of what you follow, what you're feeding yourself, because that's what you're gonna start to see um, in your life you're gonna to start to see the fruit of that in your life you know so be careful what we feed and I use minds be careful what you feed your mind but it's really be careful what you feed your spirit so I hope this makes sense I hope you got something from it and I hope I encouraged you on just being more conscious of guarding your heart guarding your mind guarding your eyes guarding your ears and making sure whatever's planted here is good so you can get a good harvest have a really great night. Bye.